You don't have to go buy any body calipers or whatnot. It's just to measure, okay? To get one of these. Now, let's say helmet, okay? So I would, now that you have one of these, I'd measure my head. This is an awesome idea. I'm gonna take the same core concept from Nico Industries and turn it into a 3D file that you can print for yourself to use to scale your body parts for any of your upcoming cosplay builds. Let's check it out. All right, so I designed these files initially in Adobe Illustrator. I did this because uh, this is just a tool that I'm very familiar with. I used the pen tool to actually sketch out the shape of this and then used a stencil font and basically connected all of the pieces together to create one solid object. I then exported that as an SVG file. Next, I took the SVG file and loaded it into Fusion 360. This allows me to take the file and actually create an STL file and extrude the components of this into a 3D object. I could technically do this in Tinkercad, but I was having some issues getting this to properly bring into the application. So I figured I'd bring it into this just to create an initial STL. All right, so once I had the file created, I brought that into Tinkercad, modified the workspace to match the CR10, which is 300 by 300. Uh, I then brought the file in, uh, re-leveled it as needed. I then duplicated the file to create two of them because my caliper needs uh, two. And then tried ever so gently to <laughs> align the pieces so that the base uh, where it's gonna hinge together is aligned. And then I, once I had that properly aligned, I went into the special objects under the featured objects and there's a snap and socket option that I chose. I brought that into the desired location, rescaled it, duplicated that three times, uh, and then modified the file to the tight fitting socket, uh, aligned the two pieces, and again, I took two of the duplicates, aligned them here against the caliper to the center, and then I basically hollowed those out and uh, joined those to the caliper pieces. This effectively created holes for the actual socket piece. Once that was completed, I changed the socket type back to the socket piece, and then I was able to export this as an STL that I can then bring over to a 3D printer. All right, and here they are, your cosplay calipers. So again, these were directly taken from the idea that Nico Industries was showing of how he took uh, some foam paneling and made some calipers to measure his different body parts, primarily his head for um, measuring out his helmets that he was gonna be printing. And again, I thought this was just a, an awesome idea. Love everything that Nico Industries is doing. He's putting out some great videos, by the way. If you haven't already, you need to subscribe to his YouTube channel. Make sure to check out his website where he's sharing and selling. Uh, there's a number of different free STL files for cosplay prints, as well as files that you can purchase. Also, one last little plug for this guy. He probably has one of my absolute favorite Facebook groups that I'm participating in, and it's probably the one that I go to the most out of all of them. And it's really geared toward, uh, geared toward armor, helmets, any of those builds that anybody's working on uh, related to this cosplay genre. And it, there's just a ton of inspiration that I get from that particular page. Uh, and I'll have a link for that as well down below. But these are the cosplay calipers. So again, taken directly from his concept there and made into printable files. These were designed to be printed on a CR10 or CR10-like machine. I printed this on the J Aurora A5 and I think these printed beautifully. I used Cura to get that nice top layer uh, print that is available within Cura and I think these turned out really good. They are, uh, they have the little snapping joint here on the bottom that you're gonna push through and it snaps together nice and snug. Uh, it does still freely move so you'll have to pinch and hold but you can very easily get 
from the bottom of your chin to the top of your head, and the measurement come off to the side, get a ruler and measure what the distance is there, then take that into your favorite design software, and then rescale your prop, your helmet, whatever it is that you might be working on to the appropriate size. And as you saw, I did create two different variations of the caliper. One is a little bit more of a narrow uh, blade, like uh, that's perfect for arms and other things like that, but it's, it's not exactly perfect for your head. I'm really digging these though that have the indented curve here that fit perfectly uh, for measuring your head. So the sides of your head, top of your head, from top to bottom, etc. You can still use for your arms, legs, whatever it may be. This is such a wonderful idea. Up until these, this idea, I was shoving my head in between a door frame, putting a ruler on the ground in the door, closing the door onto my head to see what the measurement was. And that's how I figured out how to actually scale my head to go into a helmet. And that really only gave me the side to side, not front to back. I can very easily get from nose to the back of my head now, or again, from chin to the top of my head, whatever the angle is, I can really very easily get this and then uh, measure it. So I'm gonna be sharing these over on Thingiverse, my mini factory, uh, you name it, I'm gonna be putting it out there. I created these in Tinkercad, or I should say the process was Illustrator to Fusion 360 to Tinkercad. Uh, I'll be sharing the actual Tinkercad files. I've gotta figure out how to do that. So if you wanna create some variations of these, feel free to do that and share those with everybody out there. And again, I wanna say a huge thank you to Nico Industries for creating this. He's also the guy that is uh, that created and shared the Wakanda Captain America shield from Infinity War that I'm actively finishing right now. Stay tuned, that video will be coming very soon that you can get for free from his website. So I'll, again, have links to all of his crazy stuff. Make sure to subscribe to him on YouTube down below. I just wanna say thank you again, guys, for watching. Uh, Nico is a perfect example of the type of members from the cosplay 3D printing community that I wanna make sure to get out to you guys to make sure that you're aware of of just amazing creative people that are out there sharing wonderful ideas with everybody. And uh, yeah, I sort of took his idea and kind of ran with it here. So now everybody can go off and print your own cosplay calibers. Hey, thanks again for watching you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. I will see you next time. Bye now. Whew. They call me Wolverine. Yeah, I had to round out the edges on these <laughs> as well. Did a few prototype prints and the first one's really sharp. Yeah, not exactly great for uh, grabbing head measurements when you're jabbing these into the side of your head. <laughs>